familiar with that expression, but did you know that one third of all food produced globally is wasted? In Canadian kitchens, a report found that $1,700 worth of food is wasted per household in one year. That's too much. So here with tips and tricks to help us lower that number is Marilyn Smith. Yeah. Yeah. Not wasting things. Yes, you are. You're a home economist. That's what you do. You I make do. sure things stretch and everybody is healthy and it all works. And because I look at the fridge and I, I want to respect all the food that's in there. Yes. And and you know, listen, it's hard being a mushroom. Do you know? <laughs> I mean, they don't get you, enough respect. They don't. And it's all about respecting our food. And yeah. so this mushroom pushed its way out. And then if you go throw it out, that's being disrespectful it's to rude. the food. So um, it's disrespectful to your wallet too. It, totally. Very disrespectful. You worked totally. really hard for your money, so make sure you respect it and spend it wisely. And you know, the other stat is that you, we throw away between 40 and 50 percent of the food we buy. So. Mm. Like, that's a scary amount, That's too. too much. That's too much. Okay. So, I post pictures on Instagram all the time about, look what I made out of my fridge. And people yes. go, what's the recipe? I go, I don't know. <laughs> I just <laughs> made it up, right? Yeah. So, and I realize it's because when I open my fridge, I see possibilities. Mm. I see recipes. I don't see a bunch of stuff that I don't have a clue what to make with. Right. So, when I open my fridge, I see a pasta dish, maybe. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I see a soup. Yeah. Sometimes I see a frittata. Yeah. Sometimes I see a salad. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I see a curry. So those are my go-to, I mean, there's other ones too, but those yeah. are my basic ones. So when I opened my fridge the other day, because this is all stuff I made. Okay. I actually did this all from stuff that I had from the week before. Amazing. So chicken was on sale, so I bought a whole bunch of chicken and I cooked it up. And then yeah. it looks like this after. Now, I would gag if you warmed this up for me. Because oh, really? to me, that's a leftover, right? Yeah. It's like, okay, it's just reheated. Yeah. But I see it as an ingredient into this pasta dish. Okay. So this pasta dish is, that's one of the, the protein is the, is the chicken. Mm -hmm. um, also, parsley, um, people would probably throw that piece of parsley out, but that's an ingredient in, this, in it as well, because you can use the stems. Yep. So nothing gets wasted. People think that this mushroom has gone bad, but in fact it hasn't, it's just a little dried out. Where and do they see it going bad? They think that when the gills open, see the, the difference? So it's when gone it starts... bad if it walks out of your fridge. <laughs> <laughs> then don't Whoa. eat it. <laughs> well, if it's got mold on it, it's gone bad. Yes. But a lot of people say, oh, my mushrooms went bad, I threw it out. No. no, okay. Now, to make sure your mushrooms don't go bad, there's also like how do you store them. And a lot of stores now are giving you paper bags. So always put your mushrooms in a paper bag and they will last longer. And put them, okay. they go in a dark place? You no, know, in the fridge. They go in the fridge. But not in your crisper because it's too, there's too much humidity. Okay, so, so put it on a shelf in your fridge. Yes, okay. yes. Okay, now the next one I see when I open my fridge yes. is I also see things in my freezer. And I think we sometimes forget about our freezers, but they're a kind of a, a stash of food as well. Mm -hmm. So once again, I had leftover chicken. So that's the basis of this soup. I just used uh, some broth. I added lentils for a thickener, but I use frozen corn that has jalapenos in it, and I have a Mexican Ooh, chicken. Nice. And then as a little topping, I put um, blue corn chips on it. Blue, uh, well, I'm too short. Anyway, <laughs> I could have helped, but I'd rather just watch. That's hilarious. She's I, just this I'm big. So little. goes bad fast but if you put them in a plastic bag and yep. put them in the freezer they oh, won't go bad in the fast. freezer in the freezer so there you go okay okay moving on yes uh, then I also because chicken was on sale I roasted some chicken thighs with some potatoes and leeks nice and this was left over because I said Scott do not eat any more of this is for the show <laughs> and so I saw a frittata and now this is not I, I started making this years ago I call it peasant dinner yeah and and I don't know what that's what it's called or I make frittatas all the time at a leftovers because I on. never get sick of eggs. I don't either. I so you got eggs. eggs, but then a secret ingredient is to put Ooh. Dijon mustard in the eggs. Give it some. Spice. So you got some something flavor. Mm -hmm. And then if you're buying a big hunk of cheese, if you wrap it up in uh, parchment paper, it's going to last a whole lot longer. And don't take it out of its cheese wrapper. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. And now the next one is salad. And as the queen of fiber and a believer in all fruits and vegetables, yes. this is kind of my go-to. So I always have cruciferous vegetables, and I just I think this is the most awesome thing. So this it's is beautiful. a Brussels sprout. This is and, I, and I hate Brussels sprouts, but look at how gorgeous <laughs> that is. I always thought if I got married again, this would be a good bouquet, you know? <laughs> like, perfect. I don't know, yeah, I could hide behind it. And will the mystery bride please reveal herself? Ta-da! Yeah. Anyway, so you can use, you can use uh, uh, some cabbage, 
cabbage, some yeah. kale, Brussels sprouts sliced up raw is just a baby cabbage. Yeah. And then leftover um, little bits of cooked uh, of cooked uh, beans. beans and a tomato. And I, I'm going to do the recipe later. It says eight tomatoes. That wouldn't be eight, you know. I mean, like size matters. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> and then the last one is curry, and I love curry. Yeah. I love it. I love it. The and flavor. this is really. Whatever you got goes yep. in it, okay? So a little piece of uh, cauliflower, uh, a sad looking eggplant, mm -hmm. um, and some leftover cooked squash becomes this gorgeous Ooh. curry. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. And dinner's ready, and I don't throw anything out. I think you gave ideas to people about some go-to recipes, because we all need them. You need them on those busy nights where you've got lots of extracurriculars, or instead of ordering out, there's stuff in your there's fridge. There's stuff in your fridge. Marilyn, thank you so much My for that. Pleasure.